the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Come on. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So, so the earth, you are standing on it and it's physical. You said formation is what is physical and creation is spiritual. Tell us, explain it to us. Make it make, it make sense. Okay. So, you have to understand. Okay, let, let me justify something before I answer you. Okay. This Bible. Right. This is a King James. This is in English, right? The Here first, we go. The first Bible was it in English. <laughs> Wait, I want to show you. Uh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, I'm listening. So, it was in Greek or Hebrew. Am I right? No, no, you're telling us, Ben. Tell us. Greek or Hebrew, whatever. I'm not good at quoting scripture. I'm not good at. It, 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 it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. But I know the first Bible was not in English, right? Okay, so it's going to tell us the difference between formation no, and creation. Because remember, we're still there. Remember, there are words oh, that we're Yeah, I'm with you, but you are, based on what you're saying, you're going to give us the sense on the difference between creation and formation. And not, don't forget that formation... Hold on. The, don't forget that you said formation is physical, creation is spiritual. Okay, now, you on. So now, that's why I asked you, I said, when did we become a nation? Because this, when was this fulfilled? When was this fulfilled? Thank you. That's why I asked you. You see, we're just going back to the same thing that you are running away from. Go back to Genesis uh, 26. Is it uh, Genesis 26? Yeah, read verse 5 again. Uh, brother, don't step on the posters, please. The book of Genesis chapter 26 verse 5. Come on. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice, read and kept my charge, my command. No, the verse above it, verse 4. The book of Genesis, chapter 26, verse 4. Come on. And I will make thy seed to multiply. He says, I'm going to make your seed to multiply. Come on. As the stars of heaven, read. And I will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. So now he's talking to Isaac. But remember. In Genesis 15, he's already told Abraham what's going to happen to the children that will come from the children of Isaac, which is who? Jacob, right? Genesis 20, uh, Deuteronomy 26 and 5. That's what I wanted. Hold on, we're going to go there in a second. Genesis 26, read verse 3. Now. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 26, verse 3. Watch this. And thou shalt go unto the priest that shall be in the days and say unto him, I profess this day unto the Lord, watch this, thy God, that I am come unto the country which the Lord swear unto our father. He says, says, I'm come unto the country which the Lord swear unto our fathers. He's going to tell you what that country is. Go ahead. For to give us. And the priest shall take the basket of thine hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord thy God. Watch this. And thou shalt speak and say before the Lord thy God. Listen good. A Syrian ready to perish was my father he says a syrian ready to perish was my father where, where did jacob go where did he run to he read it in Hosea. to laban not from to before he ran right before he ran where did he go to yeah and we where, where, where were they staying Syria. That's why it says a Syrian. Okay. Read the Bible again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 26, verse 5. Come on. And thou shalt speak and say before the Lord thy God, a Syrian ready to perish was my father. Watch this. And he went down unto Egypt. He did what now? And he went down into Egypt. Not Canaan. This is Egypt now. Go ahead. And said, John there with a few. Uh -huh. And became... He nice. says, he said, John there with a few. What was, who was the few? The children, right? So, watch this. And became they a nation. A what now? A nation. So when did we first become that nation? When? In Egypt. That's why I asked you the beginning. I said, when was the first slavery? You were jika jiki and you see my brother. Don't do okay, that. You know verse 5 again. One more verse. Then you can ask the question. No, no, it's true. You're the book of Deuteronomy. Yeah. Chapter 26, verse 5. And thou shalt speak and say before the Lord thy God. Watch this. A Syrian ready to perish was my father. Uh -huh. And he went down into Egypt. And such and there with a few and became a nation great mighty and popular that's when we became that populous nation in egypt when we were slaves you are following now okay oh, please right next question now this question right you are you are here portraying a black jesus right no i'm not portraying a black jesus 
ready. This why Jesus is, is, is being put in place. Then this one is. No, is the description. The description is biblical. Okay, by revelation. That's what you're saying. Not by revelation. No, the book of revelation. Yes, by the book of revelation. Okay, the book of revelation. Yes. Is, okay, you know, revelation really is not. It's not what. Um, it's right. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. It's not what. Well, when he says. Make it play. Make it make sense. His feet were like brass. Does it literally mean Jesus in brass feet? He says. He says his feet was what. No, 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 repeat what you just said. Repeat what you just said. My question, Hold on, question. wait. Repeat what you just said. He says he's his feet, what? Hold on. <laughs> you said his feet, what? Was that brass? That's it. Like, 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 like. Meaning they were likening his feet like the color of brass. But you see, you just gave the answer. But does it... You just gave the answer. He didn't say his feet was literally brass. So he says likeness, like brass. If we are made in the likeness of God. Yes. Explain that to me. Oh, that's excellent. No, 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 no. No, in the Bible. Okay. Yes, of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me Genesis 126, man. Then go, let me just read it out for you. I know it by, by No, 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 it's fine. But we must read it to activate let the angels. Elohim let's read that. Let us make men in... Top, oh, yes, <laughs> yes, let's read it. Topical Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Listen good. And God said... Let us make men in our image. In our image. That means God. Hold on. That means God has an image. Read. After our light, meaning the way we look. Exactly the way we look. Go ahead. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So now, keep reading. Then not God did what? So God created man in his own image. In his what now? In his own image. His own, his own image. He's got an image that he used to create man, which is Adam, our forefather, a black man. Okay, so what is the image of God basically? Read the, hold on, no, no, we you cannot. Only read it. We yeah, can well, listen, my brother. Listen. We cannot read about the image of God without using the Bible. It's impossible. Now read the next verse again. Topic of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. Listen good. So God created man in his own image. In his own image. Come on. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now, let's see that image, what it looked like. Genesis 2, verse 7. Let's get it. Let's see what that image looked like. What was the color of it? Read what you got. Topic of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Watch this. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Stop. He was, we were created in the image, not formed in the image. You can't make this up. Ah. You cannot make this stuff up. You just said the same thing. Everything oh, that you just said. And forming is the same thing. What's the difference? Hold on, wait. What's the difference between That's you forming and creating something? Image. I'm asking. Image. Now hold on. When you create and form something, what's the difference? Okay, well, what's the difference when you create and form? Yes. Tell us, yeah. Okay. We want to know. This is a new one. I'll sound weird to you, but no, no, no. Just give, make it plain. Yeah. Okay. Creation. Yes. It's transporting a reality from the spirit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, man! Stop it! Stop it, man! <laughs> give me that in uh, Isaiah forty-nine and one. I'm gonna show you something, man. Listen, listen. We're still on creation and formation. Yes, we're still there. I'm gonna use this scripture to explain it to you. Don't worry, bro. I'm your brother, man. Come on. Genesis, uh, Isaiah forty-nine and one. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 1. Come on. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people. From far, the Lord has called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother have he made mention of my name. So now, this is the formation the Lord is saying. He formed you in the womb. Right? This is formation. Forming and creation. Now give me uh, Jeremiah 1. No, wait. Hold on, my brother. I'm giving you the answers, man. Why don't you tell me when you say I ordained to your mother's womb and all that about Jeremiah? He formed us. Yeah, yeah. yeah he formed. He created it relative, us. How is it relative to the first creation? There was no womb. There. My, listen, listen, listen. I'm giving you the sense because you couldn't explain the difference between creation and formation, which is the same thing. Please help me. It's all the same. But outside the, 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 the existence the of the womb. The Bible. Outside the existence of the womb. My the brother, listen, listen, listen. Listen, I'm really going to keep it simple for you. Jeremiah 1 and 5. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Before he formed, meaning before he created. Go ahead. 
and before thy came forth out of thy womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Now, go back to Isaiah 49 and 1 again. Read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 1. Listen, O eyes, unto me, and hearken ye people from far. The Lord has called me from the womb. From the power of my, of my mother hath he made mention of my name. So now, we just mentioned about formation here in the womb, right? When God created us in the stomach. Now, give me Sirach 18 and 1. No, Hold on, wait, wait, I'm still getting there. Give me, give me a time, my brother. Stay no, with you. Don't want me to say anything. No, but the thing is, you, you, when you were supposed to, when you were given the chance to say, you couldn't explain it. So now we're using the Bible to give it a sense. So pay attention about that. Come on. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 18, verse 1. Listen good. Ye that liveth forever. Who's liveth forever? Thank you. But created all things in general. Stop. So what did he do? Uh, he formed all things. He formed all things. He created all things. Hold on, hold on. You see, you see, no, you couldn't, do, you couldn't explain it. Formation and creation is the same thing. Come on, read the Bible. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but He, who governeth the world with the palm of His hand, and all things obey His will. He is the King of all, by His power dividing all things among them from profane. So now, God created all things from the beginning in general. You understand? So when he created us, that he formed us. Spirit. No, my brother. What, you see? Stop, 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 stop. So when God created the heaven and the earth, was in the spiritual? When God created the heavens. And the earth. The earth. earth. Yeah, it was in the so the earth is not physical? No. I'm asking. Oh, well, well, you said formation is physical, creation is spiritual. So, now that we're on this, when he created the earth, is it not physical? You are standing physically on the earth right now. Was it not created? Was it not formed? Oh, <laughs> come on, my brother. Okay, answer it. Give us the answer. Stop. So, well, yeah, I'm glad you said that. Go back to Genesis 1 and 1. Come on, man. Hold on. Let's read it, man. Read it. Genesis, go. Genesis 1 and 1. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Stop. So the earth, you are standing on it and it's physical. You said formation is what is physical and creation is spiritual. Tell us, explain it to us. Make it make, it make sense. Okay. So you have to understand. Okay. Let me justify something before I answer you. Okay. This Bible. Right. This is a king. This is the English, right? The Here we go. The first Bible was it in English. <laughs> Wait, I want to show you. Uh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, I'm listening. So it was in Greek or Hebrew. Am I right? No, no, you're telling us, Ben. Tell us. Greek or Hebrew, or I'm not good at quoting scripture. I'm not good at it. it, it it's, it's fine, it's fine. But I know the first Bible was only in English, right? Okay, so it's going to tell us the difference between formation no, and creation. Because remember, we're still there. Remember, there are words. Oh, that were yeah, used. I'm with you, but you are, based on what you're saying, you're going to give us the sense on the difference between creation and formation. And not, don't forget that formation, hold on, the, don't forget that you said formation is physical, creation is spiritual. Okay, now, you on. So, when you say sport created men, does it mean physical? Before you answer that. And then when he says God formed Adam, formed, you see, what God forms, he gives the name. What God gives the name? What created men? Men bring the physical, bring, bring, bring the spiritual structure. And, and Adam bring the physical uh, thing. And then he combined the two. Am I right? No. Let me explain that. Ex explain it. Genesis 1 26. Okay. God created men. He said, let, let us make men in our image. Let us make men in our own image. After our own life, right? Read it. Read it. Come on. Read it. Verse 26 again. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. Come on. And God said, Let us make man in our image. Yes, now proceed. Now, afterwards, he says, God formed Adam. Okay, okay, keep reading. The book of in fact, you know, you see 26 and 27? He's going to answer those questions that you were just. You, he's going to give you the. 
the, the simple answer to tell you that creation and formation is all the same. Read verse 26 again. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. Listen good. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Now, Hiram, he said, let us what now? Make what, is, what is the word he's using? Make. Right? Okay. Go ahead. So God created man in his own image. Stop. So make and create, is it different? Yes or no? We don't have the Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm just asking you a simple question. Make and create, is it different or the same? According to me, it's different. Yeah. Read the Bible again. Verse 26 and 27. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let us what now? Let us make man in our image. Now read the next verse. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Stop. What's the difference? Does it make God make man? No, I'm asking you, what's the difference? Okay. What's the difference? Hold on. Hey, don't move the goalpost. What's the difference? Well, now let's agree. You said it's different, so what's the difference, man? Let, let's agree. But still, that No, wait, what, what, what are we agreeing? The main question is that We're still answering. The same it's the same agree. thing. Okay. But you said but it's but different. For, for, for now. It's not the same. Read the verse 27 again. Come on, man. Stop it. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. Listen good. So God created man in his own image. Uh -huh. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now, read Genesis 2, verse 7. The same account, just using different words. Listen good. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Listen good. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Stop. What's the difference? My brother, stop it, man. Read verse 27 again. Pay attention. You're not paying attention, man. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Stop. He created man in his own image. Genesis 2, verse 7. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Stop. What's the difference? Get synonyms real quick. Because the problem is English here. Formation is physical. No, no, no. The, no my brother, the problem is just English. Understand? It's not our first language. So we can get it. We can get synonyms of make, create, and form. But why would God... Okay. Who wrote the book of Genesis Moses? Oh, okay. Technically. What do you mean technically? We are when you say... To know that Ah, come on, man. Stop it, man. Let me ask a question, actually. Do you believe the Bible? Uh, Is it a yes or no? I do. You do? So why do you not believe the things that are written? I do. I believe in them. Now, the difference is... The question is, do you understand the things that are written? Okay. Yes, yes. That, that, that's, that's what I'm asking. Do you understand the things that are written? Yes, I do. That's okay. Why, that, that's why your understanding and my understanding differ. You know why it differs? Uh -huh. I'm going to show you how you get the understanding. Psalms 1, 11 and 10. Let's see how we get the understanding of the Bible. So that you, hold on, that you and I are on the same page. Because right now, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You and I are not on the same page. You know why? Because we don't understand the Bible the same way. And there's a reason why we don't understand it the same way. And there's a reason, there's a solution on how we're supposed to understand it the same way. Here's the answer. Psalms 1, 11 and 10. The book of Psalms, chapter 1, 11, verse 10. Listen up. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Go ahead. A good understanding. A what? A good understanding. A good understanding of this Bible. Come on. Have all day that do his command. That what? That do his command. Stop. What did, what, what did the Bible just say? Edit of the Bible. There's no of the Bible. A good understanding no, of no. the Bible. You can understand God. Hold on. But what are we reading about here? About God, not about the Bible. Read the Bible again. Come on, man. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The beginning of wisdom. Where is this wisdom of the Lord found? Automatically one minute. Well, hold on. Where is it found? Okay, give me Job 20, 28, 28. Let's see. If it's found inside of us. Let's see. 
Did I see whether you are right or what the Bible is right? Let's see. Job 28, 28. Let's see where the wisdom of God is found. Read. The book of Job, chapter 28, verse 28. And unto men he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Come on. And to depart from evil is understanding. So now, the wisdom of the Lord is when you fear God, right? You, we, we're together so far. The wisdom of the Lord was when you fear God. Give me Zerach 19 now, verse 19. Read it. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit the, the fruit of the tree of immortality. So the knowledge of the commandment is the laws of God. Where are the laws of God found in the commandments? I'm asking. Where? Is it intrinsic also? Is it in your heart? Hold on, my brother. Just ask a simple question. You said it's intrinsic. The knowledge, hold on. Knowledge and commandments, where are they found? You cannot make it up. Keep reading. Let's read verse 20 now. Hold on. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Is what now? Is all wisdom. Read. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. Stop. So what is wisdom? No, the performance of the law. When you perform the law, meaning when you obey the law, okay. where is the laws of God found? Inside of us. In the Bible, man, not inside of you. Because, no, hold on, you, if the laws of God were inside of you, you would do them. You are outsourcing them. No, hold on, wait, wait. I'm if, already doing them without no, the But you're not. Hey. You're not. Jesus Christ, no Hold on, you are doing when the commandments of the Lord now? When? Hold on, you are doing the commandments now? I am. Let's see, give me that in First Corinthians. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my brother. No, your problem Hold is on. You are eloquent in scripture. You're not no, I have to, but I am answering this question. I just proved that wisdom is the laws of God. No. And the laws of God are found in the Bible. When I said they are found inside of you, okay. and that's wrong. Is this Bible Jesus? The Bible is not Jesus. What do you mean the Bible is Jesus? <laughs> Was the word you call this the word of God? Is this not the word? Okay, so the, the Bible is just means a collection of writings. I okay, really want us to be technical. Jesus, we'll be technical. Jesus, Jesus is the word made flesh. That's it. And I can prove it in the Bible. Okay, okay, but before, oh, before we go there, let's read this first. First Corinthians eleven, verse three. Hold on, my brother. Wait, wait, wait. You said right now you keep in the commandment. That's what you said. You said right now, we said they are inside of you and you are doing it. Okay, let's prove it. Hold on, let's prove it. First Corinthians 11 and 3. First book of Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Watch this. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. Meaning your spiritual head is Jesus Christ. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the woman is the man. That's why they said the man is the head of the house. He's the way head of the wife. Okay, that's the order. Keep reading. And the head of Christ is God. So there's an order here. You've got God, you've got Christ, you've got men and women and children. That's the order. Read. Every man pray or prophesy. So the question is, are we praying right now? Are we praying? Yes or no? Hold on, my brother. It's a simple yes or no. Are we praying? Wait. Are we praying right now? You see? You cannot make it up. You prayer. can't make this up, man. <laughs> Hold on. Prayer. Explain prayer. Ray, listen, are, we pr are you praying? Is it a yes or no? Prayer means many Hold on, wait, wait. Are you praying? Prayer, yeah, right now. You are not praying right now. See, the young man is just wise. He, he just answered the That's question. Okay, prayer. so we are not praying. All praises. Now read the Bible again. First book of Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. Every man pray or prophesy. Because right now we are not praying. The young man, that's why Christ says, he called a little boy and asked him and said, he told the disciple, he says, if you can be like this little child and be born again, you'll understand this book. He just answered it, yes or no. Simple, man. You understand? That's how your communication must be. Yes or no. Simple. Read the Bible again. Come on. Every man pray or prophesy, having his head covered. Because right now we are not praying. But we are prophesying. Because we are teaching the word of God right now. We are not Tandazi right now. Are we Tandazi? No, we are not. But we are teaching the word of God. Keep going. Every man pray or prophesy. 
Heaven is head cover. Because right now we prophesy, we read in the word of God. We are in the spirit of prophecy right now. And your head is covered. My head is covered. Yes. Okay. Right, go ahead. Dishonor his head. You are dishonoring your head right now. Yes, I am doing it. So that, no, so that you can understand it. But the Bible says right now, you are you are doing you are breaking that law. Right now. The, 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 okay, let's, oh no, whoa, 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 Yes or no? Do you, do you believe the Ten Commandments? Of course I do. Okay. Can you stay in the mouth of God? Hold on. Read the Bible again. Ah. You see, you are running. You are running. You are the running, brother. Come on, read the Bible again. You, you, you want First book of Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. Read. Every man pray or prophesy, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. That's what you're doing right now. You're dishonoring your head. I'm praying now. You are, you are in the spirit of prophecy because we're teaching the Bible right now. Oh, I'm prophesying. No, we are prophesying. And you so are I'm listening to the word of God. So I'm listening, I'm not prophesying. I'm and not hold on, be, hold on, brother, come on. You know you must have order, right? Okay, let's be ordered. Now, we're talking to God right now. So right now, you're hearing the word of God, right? And the word of God, when it's coming out, the law says you cannot have your head covered as a man. While doing what? While the word of God is being taught. Read that again. Read that again. First book of Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, praying. having his head covered. Praying or prophesying. So what are we doing right now? You said I'm listening. Is that praying? Is that no. prophesying? Yeah, we have. We are. You are in you the spirit I'm, of prophecy. You are. No, I'm saying we're teaching you listening. Yo. This is church up right now. But uh, uh, you uh, just uh, been rebellious. You don't want to take that hair off. That's it. It's that simple, bro. Come on, man. Stop being rebellious, man. <laughs> you said you believe the Bible, but when you read it, you don't believe it. No. Give me Revelation 19 verse 13. No, man. Revelation 19 verse 10, when it says the spirit of prophecy. Read what you got. You, you want me to just follow? Chapter of Revelation, chapter 19 verse 10. You know what the Bible says? I asked you a simple question. Do you believe the Bible? You said yes. And now when I read the you, Bible, you don't want me to you ask don't believe questions. it. You don't want me but you've been questions. asking questions, and we've been giving you the answers according to what the Bible says. But you don't believe the Bible, man. No. Come on, read me. Revelation 19 verse 10. The book of Revelation, chapter 19 verse 10. Listen up. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, uh -huh. Listen, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, and have the testimony of Jesus. Really? Worship God. Go ahead. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy is what we are in right now. The spirit of prophecy, Isaiah 8 verse 20. The spirit of prophecy is this. I'm giving you the truth now. I'm putting the puzzle of the pieces together so I can uh, help you understand what it means to prophesy. Isaiah 8 verse 20. But you can Hold on. Hear, listen, listen. I'm listening. But listen. Listen. Now I'm prophesying. No, my brother. I'm saying. I, I don't know when how, we teach, how, how I alternated to that realm of My brother, now. you see, the problem is one. You've just been rebellious, man. Isaiah 8 verse 20. Listen good. You want me to agree with everything you're saying? So no, that's no, no, no. I don't want you to agree with everything. No, I want you to agree with what the Bible says. Not me. Isaiah 8 verse 20. This is the spirit of prophecy. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 10. Listen good. To the law and to the testimony. To the what now? To the law and to the testimony. Go ahead. If they speak not according to this way, if it is, it is because there is no light in them. You see, the law and the testimony. The testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. So testimony prophesying is the laws of God. 